Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. In this video I want to talk about moving away from what I call static hi-hat accents. What that term means is that usually when we play a hi-hat pattern and we accent that, the accent pattern is usually static. It doesn't move. So here's an example of that. I'm going to play eighth notes with a very typical accent pattern. One, two, three, four. About a year or so ago, I had a great chat with a local drumming legend here in Melbourne. His name is Peter Luscombe, and we were talking about hi-hats and also talking about the idea of not just sticking to one particular accent pattern, but actually just moving the accents around randomly. And um, I'll give you an example of that sort of thing. So I'm just going to play the hi-hat as eighth notes, and I'm just going to make up an accent pattern, and it's going to sound fairly random. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. It's a great approach for a section of a song. It just adds a little breath and a little life to a, a middle eight or a bridge. Or you can use it for an entire song if the song calls for it. So in this video I'm going to take that a step further by playing an eighth note pattern on the snare drum with my left hand. And this is a little similar to a video that I put up a couple of weeks ago. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. However, what I'm doing differently in this video is I'm playing all the eighth notes and I'm accenting two and four. So that's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. So essentially the right hand and left hand are playing eighth notes. I'm just going to play eighth notes on the hi-hat with that now. I'm not going to add any accents to the hi-hat yet. One, two, three, four. Now that's actually a hard thing to do. That's going to take a little bit of practice because at this point what you're probably going to want to do is add an accent on the hi-hat when you play the accent on the snare drum. So there's a little bit of hand-to-hand -hand independence involved in that. It's gonna, it's gonna mess with your head. So what I suggest you do is you just practice a simple groove, one and three on the bass drum, along with that hand pattern. One, two, three, four. The other challenge is making sure that you eliminate any flams that may occur when you're playing those unisons between your right hand and left hand. If you're a right-handed drummer, your weakness is your left hand. And so with that in mind, we're not really used to playing eighth notes in unison with both hands. So that in itself is going to be a challenge. The next challenge is to add some accents on the hi-hat. Now, if you saw my previous video, I talked about playing no accents, I talked about playing accents on the downbeat, I talked about playing accents on the upbeat, and then I also talked about adding accents to all of the eighth notes. So the first step in developing independence between the two hands is to be able to play all those four hi-hat variations with your right hand while you're playing that pattern on the left hand. So here's variation one. Bass drum on one and three, snare drum's playing all of those eighth notes with an accent on two and four. One, two, three, four. Variation two is adding accents to the downbeat on the hi-hat. One, Variation three, accents on the upbeat. 
One, two, three, four. And variation four is accenting all of those eighth notes. One, two, three, four. A few things to keep in mind. Firstly, when you're playing accents on the upbeat on the hi-hat, you can see that I'm using that right hand sweeping motion that I talked about in a video, uh, a few videos back. So I'll leave a link to that video below as well. Again, another thing to be aware of is that while you're playing eighth notes on the snare drum, it's very likely that you may flam with the bass drum. Remember that that is a weak relationship. If you want some more information on this and how to fix it, I did a video on that a few weeks ago. So feel free to check that out. Again, a link is below. So the next step is to be able to move between all of these patterns randomly. So that sounds like we're just playing an accent exercise on the hi-hat, it's kind of what it is. So what I did to develop this was to take, again, Ted Reed's syncopation exercise number one and play that on the hi-hat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play eighth notes on the hi-hat and then I'm going to treat the syncopation exercise number one as accents on top of that hi-hat pattern. I'm gonna play the first eight bars of that syncopation exercise. One, two, three, four. So all we need to add to that hi-hat pattern is the snare drum and the bass drum. So just as a refresher, the bass drum's playing on beats one and three. The snare drum is playing all the eighth notes with an accent on beats two and four. Let's just have a listen to the bass drum and snare drum together. One, two, three, four. The next step, once you've developed um, some independence with the right hand accents, is just to improvise those uh, accent patterns so that you're not necessarily reading anything, but just kind of making it up as you go along. One, two, three, four. So that's actually all quite challenging, but again, it's really groovy. And it's just a way of making eighth notes a little more interesting by how you use the hi-hat. If you like the video, hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video. Have fun practicing and I'll see you next week. Bye. Let me say that again. And don't, for and don't forget to hit the notification I'm having a great time. Let me do that again. I don't think I explained that well. It's actually not that easy. Please, please be quiet.